We do recommend that you avoid tights, dresses, jeans for at least the first six weeks because if baby's wearing really comfortable clothing, the baby's going to sleep much better. And then in turn, you will be able to rest and sleep or get things done if baby's comfortable. Hello, beautiful people. It is now. It is another day in this beautiful household of mine. So, right now I'm just making Dodger some food. I literally am so tired. I've been sleeping all the time. I am speaking like this because I literally just woke up from that. I know, baby. Dodger's in his crate for, because Lewis is filming a podcast, so he needs it to be quiet. But I think I may take him out. But the problem is, is if I take him out, I can't go outside to walk him. So, let me. Anyways, I make Dodger's wet food topper. Um, so ground chicken, broccoli, carrots, cauliflower, and brown rice. And he gets that every single week. <laughs> and he gets turkey. Sometimes he gets chicken breast. Sometimes he gets ground chicken. Um, Lewis said he wants to introduce him to some fish, but we haven't done it yet. But fish would probably be really good for his skin and hair. I know. So anyways, um, let's see. I'm gonna pick back up vlogging this week. I have, I didn't film a Military Monday video simply because I was just too, there's too much going on. I just finished finals for my other classes. Now I have seven new classes that I started today, which is a lot. Seven full-time classes, so I'm a little bit like, you know um we have stuff coming in for the nursery i'm not going to show you guys that like the design stuff but i'm not too happy with some of the stuff i ordered it looks kind of cheap lewis said he thinks it's the vendor that i'm using but i don't think i'm going to return it just because i don't feel like it um <laughs> and everything i order off etsy takes has taken forever because of down COVID, even Dodger's dog food, which I have yet to receive an email on that. I order this specific dog food because it's supposed to be one of the best, and that is taking forever. So he's had to get some not not the best dog food, but it'll be okay. Um, just watch The Bachelor and all that drama. <sighs> not too thrilled about this season, but I I was excited because I was like, oh my gosh, the first black male bachelor because you know rachel Lindsay, her season was so good and she's just so good and i know i shouldn't compare the two but i'm like that gets on my nerves <laughs> so but yeah so that's all i'm doing um we had i i showed you guys the class we took so we took an interesting um class and then i think i have another class coming up on lactation next week actually so I'll be in that as well. I know my baby bump is like, it's huge. I know Dodger, Dodger's like, girl, if you don't unlock this, ooh, oh, here we go. I need to, is that better? Ugh. it's worse. I need to um, film a baby bump date. I'll probably film that tomorrow. I need to edit and put out my virtual baby shower so you guys will see that. <sighs> I'm so behind on videos. I need to stockpile these videos probably here shortly because 
I'm in the window. I I just started seeing my doctor. When you guys see this, you'll see the update. But now, sorry, out of breath. Now I see my doctor twice a week. So, which is a lot because I'm like, geez. But he said because I'm high risk and he's monitoring them for certain things um, that I'm not going to disclose on here. Nothing bad. It's all typical stuff, but um, I find that I need to have better boundaries when it comes to myself. Um, Lewis and I had a conversation about something that happened um, with me, and I realized I don't really have any boundaries. I felt more guilty about how to communicate stuff going on with me, and he was like, honey, uh -uh. like that's your you do not have you should not feel obligated to communicate every little thing to everyone and not just you two but like even like my family and friends and on my Instagram posts I post every last detail and he's like I don't want you to do that <laughs> and finally and this it's not the first time he said it but finally it was the first time where something happened and I was like I'm not going to share that because it's my business and you know I try to share as much as I can because I want you guys to feel as transparent but I realize in doing that I don't have boundaries and if I don't set up boundaries now then I'm going to be in a situation where um, I'm going to regret not having boundaries because then you guys are going to feel entitled to such information and it's harder to cut people off than to just not even go there. So there's nothing bad going on with me or them, but my doctor just said he felt more comfortable with me seeing him twice a week. Honestly, I need to go through our baby shower stuff, but I haven't done that yet. So I will do that this weekend is my goal. I'm vlogging. Oh, I didn't know what you was doing. I have to, they haven't probably taken computer, so I got to, in a few minutes, I'm back. Can you say hi? Hello. You guys haven't seen us in a while. Billy. <laughs> we almost there, y'all. I'm I'm trying, you guys, but I'm just so tired all the time. So Y'all show us some love in the comments. <laughs> Let her know she's doing good. So um Okay guys. So hi, it's another day. Today I'm gonna wrap up this portion of the vlog i'm gonna edit it and release it oh, it's been a struggle we're finally getting all a lot of our baby stuff in some of our other items are kind of stuck in transit because of what's going on with texas and by the way praying for everyone in texas we have a ton of friends and family in texas so uh yeah anyways okay so i'm gonna do the Ginger prediction kit from Amazon, and it actually came um, banged up like this, which is really funny. There we go. So this is the kit. I bought this kit um, when I was actually doing my gender reveal, which was, I was 14 or 16 weeks. So I've had this for a long time, and I never used it, and so I finally used it. I'm not gonna show you guys my specimen but basically you pee in a cup and by the way when you're not a lab and you don't have like a wide cup and you're this pregnant trying to pee into a Gatorade bottle real fun this is just supposedly for fun but I want to see if it's actually accurate and now that I know I'm having two boys I'm like ooh but it does say a disclaimer that it's just for fun so this is not 100% factual or even any factual at all so if it's blue let's see if it's blue it's a boy and if it's green it's a girl hopefully you guys can see that um basically it's a fast and a fun way to predict your gender you can use it as early as five weeks and it says on the box for entertainment purposes only so this is probably not even factual but let's just see so it says to collect your urine in a clean cup, check. Step two, fill the syringe with urine. Remove cap and empty syringe into test tube. 
and then match the color with the chart. So I have my urine, I'm not gonna show you guys, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this syringe that it com comes with. So here's the syringe, and it also comes with the um, test tube. You just pull it off like that. And as you can see, it has blue crystals already, but it can change to be either green or blue. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do it down here so you guys don't see. My urine is like a weird, wait, why did I do that? My urine is like a weird color because I take so many vitamins, it's absolutely ridiculous. Got my sample. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna fill it. And I don't know how long I'm supposed to wait. So can I shake this? This looks green. This is de definitely green. Can you guys see that? But let me read and see how long I'm supposed to wait for it. <laughs> it says, this product is not for people who are looking for an unequivocal result or who will be disappointed in the prediction this turns out to be. So this is purely by chance, I think, or whatever you're in your body. So pretty much my test is done. As you guys can see, it is green. That is unequivocally green. There's no chance of blue. So this test for me was inaccurate because I'm having two boys. <laughs> And that was by blood work and also by ultrasound. I know I'm having two boys, so it's really funny. Maybe it's picking up my hormones. Non-toxic and safe for your baby. Why would you, why would it be toxic anyways? Because you're not ingesting it. Fun for family and friends. Okay, so that was my Amazon gender prediction kit. And I think for entertainment wise, I mean, I think it's fun probably more so before you know but at the same time if I would have seen this before I knew I would have been like oh my gosh I'm probably having a girl even though I know it's not true so I'm kind of glad I waited to do it after because this is the the box is hilarious on it um it did come crumpled up like this so Amazon I'm not sure but they do package it really well so yeah so that's my prediction kit so um, hopefully that was just as exciting for you guys as it was for me. I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog. Hopefully you guys liked the compilation. It's just been honestly little clips from this past week. And so I'm trying to get back to my weekly vlogs at least. And then also more content videos. But appreciate you guys being patient on the content videos because I'm just, I have a lot going on and those are the hardest to film for me. So. As long as I'm getting out something, I'm proud of myself. Um, but yeah, so catch you guys later. Bye.